Ozzy Don being a quiet Midwest. Well, that was that was a very beautiful way to work it all out. Back at that time, I took a bunch of. Well, we worked something out, whatever that was. And I got this over here. <laughs> he goes fast. You don't, I don't want you getting involved in No, fight. I bang him with this. Way. I got Avoid this. Avoid conflict. They're going to they're accuse a cripple defending himself with his, with his, with his it's cane. It's cane. <laughs> That's right. From a foreign person that we know without living in America. Anymore. He was a crip. Well, that pretty much wiped out the conversation today, didn't it? He was it? under some drug. Wasn't he under drug, you think? Yeah, I think he, he was. Wide, old, wide eyes. You know? He was wild. Okay, let's go. Let's are we left. shooting? Yes, we are. We're shooting all this about okay. that man. That no, no, no. Man that wants to kill everyone. No, I. Well, we stopped that. The no, man walks uh, by. People are having lunch. He says he wishes the guy was dead. Was he eating that out? He only got what we got. How could he die for my food? Well, he was. He was. He was died. Not only he died, but the dead people in his family should die again. Now, should anybody have to die twice? One death, I think, is enough in a lifetime. <laughs> I think so. One birth, one death. Okay, let's agree to that. One and one. Remember you know. Sam Fuller, the film director? No, he no learned, I remember him. He I learned from Second full, World War. I remember War. Full of Brush Man. He learned from Second World War. Why, why don't you want to hear my answer? Why don't you want to hear you? He said, you only die I want to talk over you. It's rude to talk over you. Right. You should give me a Go ahead. I get so Do you hurt, know Sam Fuller? Yes. Okay, no, well, I don't know Sam Fuller, but I, I I know him. Shock uh, guys Corridor, are... Home of the Brave, and in there he's Oh, he's said, an actor. No, he's a director. director. Sam Sam oh, so he's talking about director. movies. Yes. Oh, it's such a switch says, of conversation for you. No. He says, you only fall to the ground <laughs> well, Did you ever hear how he talks about movies? He never talks about movies. <laughs> oh, he's never did, mentioned a movie in his did, life, did, no. Did you ever hear a man named Marty Scorsese? Did you ever hear him mention it? Never. I've never, never heard of Martin Scorsese. Never. Who is that? You never know he was an actor. He's so humble about acting in movies. Martin Scorsese. But so what so Sam Fuller about death and Sam Fuller said what he learned was you only fall down dead to the ground once so you can't die twice you die once so you were talking about that well falling to the ground but you can fall to the ground get up and then bang your head on the, uh, not if you're dead not if you're dead no it's fine not too many people die again that's why I had to explain to that your young gentleman who wanted the man's dead family to die again that they can't do that. They Don't mention only... the guy what he was talking about. They'll come after okay, you. Okay, I won't talk about it anymore. All we were talking about, remember I said all blood runs for daylight and he heard the word. But we won't go into the reference. All okay? blood runs for daylight. Yeah. Oh, it runs for... Really? Is that true? Or is that just an expression? Don't run to the darkness. Yeah, God knows where it's going. Blood is always in a hurry when it gets loose, right? It doesn't trickle out. I can't look at it. I One time I cut myself and I went to the Presbyterian, so I wrapped it up in a hanky, so I'm laying like this in the emergency room. So the nurse unwrapped it, she said, look at it. I looked at it, I started like 20 minutes like this. They He's in full cardiac it. arrest. Yeah, you could, I, get, I get sick in the hospital. For looking at your own ailment, I know how you oh, feel. God, yeah. I can't even look at they that. They tried to make me a medic in the army. It was very difficult. Boy, God bless those guys that are able to do that. You don't want to be a pecker checker? Oh, my blood. <laughs> Pressure on blood, but it helped me a lot. A, 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 a few little things that I learned from them, like when you have a, a bleeding orifice, you press on it. You press pressure. On it. That's pressure, right. Pressure. Pressure. I can't tell you how, how many panic people, people like calm down by pressuring their wound and blood stuff. You were yeah. a conscientious objector, were you? No, I can't, I can't object if somebody. He was an unconscious objector. <laughs> well, I, I, we had one conscientious objector. God bless this kid. It was 1950. One uh, in the army. You're in Korea? What they put that guy through to prove his conscientious objection to, 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 to uh, violence, they made him do the worst chores in the world, and the guy just quietly went through it all to finally had to admit that he was a conscientious objector. But I would have, could have never gone through what he had to go through. You object to being conscientious, or what? I object, Your Honor. To what? Just as a matter of uh, principle. Foolish talk. But here's what That's I want to say to you That's not foolish talk. What I say was not foolish no. talk. That was blood. That was no, pain. Blood. That was agony. You're in good shape. That's Excellent. Good. I'm in my wonderful shape. You look shape. like you're a hyper part of yourself this last couple of days. You have a lot of vitality. Can you tell yourself? Do you know when you feel like that? Sure. Of course you know when you're hyper, when you're not hyper. You know, you know when you're excited about life, when you're not excited about life. 
course you know that. Why do you have such a silly question? A profound poet like <laughs> Well, you know, Harry's never now, hyper. Now you, uh, now you doubt his knowledge of emotion when he says something. There used to be a woman I know she no, wrote a book called... Uh, great poet. Uh, My God, she's a real beautiful. She's a woman from normal Illinois, and she said that there was this Is guy Is everybody in normal in normal Illinois? This guy would, no. This guy would come over to their See house and he'd go like this. He was a real hyper guy. He'd go like this to the mother and the daughter. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And then the mother would say, something. Something's going to happen. That would calm the guy down. Just by saying something. Was this a friend of yours? A neighbor? She's a great writer. And knit speed. And he had to calm down. He was so excited about what he was going yeah, to say. He'd get nervous, like he'd get, like you worry sometimes. Sometimes I worry that you worry too much. I don't worry that at all. I don't worry at all. I'm worried. But it seems as though today it's so complex that if you don't have anything to worry about, or you don't look like you're worried about anything, people don't think you're that smart. You know, there are guys yeah. that are worried, they have nothing to worry about. Everybody else is worried about money, about business, about love, about health. And he's not worried about anything. He so must be strength. And he doesn't know, he's, he's got to worry. He's worried about not having anything to worry about. That's his worry. It takes he a worried man. man. He is, he Remember that man. song, It Takes a Worried Man? No, you try, you try. Kings and Trio? Yes, sure do. That was back in your day, right? Yeah, I worked with the Kings and Trio a lot. They sang hang down, hang your down your head, head Tom, Tom Dooley. Tom Dooley. Oh, you that do? was the big hit. What yeah. do you do, Tom Dooley? Yeah, yeah, hang his head down. I know, but they were going to kill him. Yeah. Guys. yeah, but what did he do? What, what were they going to kill him for? Killed a man, that's right. Oh, Tom, what was wrong? No, oh, I guess they had a little disagreement. See, some girls say, yeah. Yeah, you, Tom. What, what, go on, any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Hang down your head, Tom. And I'm Tom, Tom, but that now is too late. Oh, man, you're going to die. No, I, I killed a man. We, didn't we see us here a long time? Please don't say. Please do it. Didn't we beg him to do it? Didn't thousands of people <laughs> write in? That wonderful poet, that great actor. Must he sing, too? Is he that multi? The must he sing? But you really are worse than me with singing. You're a good singer. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a bad singer, but you are a bad talker. You know, you're a great talker. But you're, you're a bad talker that's trying to sing. That's what you ever is. think you're contradictory? Oh, occasionally. That's, that's what makes you right. interesting. Uh, Walt Whitman said, but I, never, I contradict I, I, myself? I, yes, I contradict I myself. I never argue with myself. I really give in all the time. You don't talk to yourself when oh, you're driving, Oh, I talk to you? myself a lot. I talk to myself. You praise yourself or criticize yourself? I love myself. I think I'm wonderful. I'm such a nice guy. I can't understand such a nice guy. Everybody should know that I'm such a really nice guy. I you're a nice, nice guy. No hard feelings. I want nothing but love and wonderment for this great You ever great get mad country. at people? No. That's why he carries that big stick. Never get mad. <laughs> he never gets mad. No sense in getting You're mad. not like Well, cruel. some people make you mad. They make you lose your... Your, your, your calm, your calmness, and for the second you go, ah, but then you go, ah. You get over it, right? And what's the point? What does your anger do? It makes you feel terrible. It doesn't, doesn't make the people who made you angry feel good. They, they wanted to make you angry. They're happy. They know how to push the button. They got an angry person. They wanted an angry person. There were too many smiling people walking in the street. So they wanted to depress somebody. Some people like that. It's too good a day. Like a lot of comedians are cruel, but you've never been a cruel comedian. No. Why do you say a lot of comedians are cruel? You know a lot of comedians? A lot of comedians, but just uh, some yeah. of the ones I've met without saying names, not you, but some of them, uh, I guess it comes from their child or something like that, but they, they get angry at people and they, they treat people cr in a cruel way. But their intention is not cruel. Their intention is to make them laugh. They fail in, 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 in their selection. And yeah. what they say. Woody Allen. I mean, one of Woody Allen's strengths is he's not a cruel comedian. He's a nice guy. That's why we like him. He satirizes himself. You know, people. Yeah. yeah. But he's a nice guy. That's why yeah. we watch him over and over again, right? Yeah. Well, you know, you 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 you, you take great uh, liberty with the word we. We? Yeah. No, the, we we don't always think about all the things you you think of. <laughs> you know, you think of them, but we don't always think of them. No. No, yeah. I don't. think more. I don't, no, 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 I, I don't know. You know, Rick Santorum, he uses the word we all the time. Does he say we a lot? Yeah, he says we. We, as, as if I'm included in his dreams. No. Uh, I haven't bought a Rick, Rick Santorum vest. Yeah, well, I, I do have the sign of my lawn. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that a terrible image that, that uh, uh, congressmen are 
buying inside trading, by making their money in, inside in, 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 illegitimately, and, and then then a guy running for president has to sell this, buy my vest. What if they reduce? Then they become lobbyists. What, 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 what if they reduce to the race for? What are, what, what are we looking for? We're looking for someone like that to lead lead our country. That's why I don't understand. Yeah. Why people always blame the president. The Congress people, they don't work together, right? Right. Never. Yeah. No. They got real low ratings. Well, well, they all have their own agendas, right. which is generally connected to their bank balance. You, you, you don't know really. We really is their fault because they they promise things and people don't believe those promises, and they shouldn't. They they just believe their own lives. Well, they get bought out too by the pharmaceutical companies. These other. Well, in in a heartbeat. It's, it's all taken care of. Oh, it's such a tough thing to run over. Can you imagine somebody will put you in charge of running the world? Oh, my God. I can't work out dinner. What you know? right about Via Ragosa? I used to think he used to talk about helping the homeless people. Yeah. In our neighborhood, you see homeless people all the time. Who was Via Ragosa? He was uh, Nixon's best friend. Via Ragosa? <laughs> Mayor. Not Bebby oh, Rebozo. Bebby Rebozo. Villa Grossa. Villa Raigosa. Villa Villa Ragosa. Villa Grossa. You don't pronounce the L. Lou Parker. Remember, yeah, that relationship with Lou Parker. Yeah. Oh, Lou Parker was a funny comedian. Wasn't the guy guy what <laughs> Lou Parker? She's a cop. Oh, was anchor a woman. She was a five. Oh, it was a wonderful comedian named Lou Parker who used to do. A thing that very people know about called the Bickersons. Oh, the Bickersons! I remember that on the radio. Had one, one, one uh, 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 slipper, one bedroom slipper. <laughs> he was always looking for that second bedroom slipper, and everything else happened during the episode. But he was always along one slipper. Yeah, Bickersons were great. Only had time to get him one slipper. Did you ever walk around the house with one slipper? A lot. Once I've got a lot of people walking around with one slipper. You just I know, just put yeah. on my moccasins at night so I can step on the cockroaches. Well, you never find that. The what? Oh, <laughs> the cockroaches, poor guy. He's one of the one of the poor of, of our brethren. Yeah, well, you, you have to uh, lasso them and then start well, a ranch. He can has, run fast. He has a yeah. Mexican charming house that's so charming, Spanish so beautiful. Spanish style. Yeah. So I like our neighborhood. Multi and his wife is so adorable. <laughs> My wife works all the time. Holly, her name Holly. Holly nice Prado. Holly, you don't kiss under the Holly, do you? No, it's under the mistletoe. Mistletoe, right? So we covered that in uh, show number eight. <laughs> I think we did, yeah. <laughs> well, we we talked about that in the show number eight. Yeah, that was like 70 shows ago. <laughs> Some long time ago. That's at least 70 days. So we've lived two months, over two months. Yep. And we live existentially, so, right? So at least the restaurants we eat are safe to eat in. We always have to thank the production alive. designer. Yeah, that's Silver right. Silver Slipper and Marcos are okay. You will not die. Silver, Silver, Silver Slipper, Silver. boy. Yeah, we used to have a nightclub in Victoria called the Silver Slipper. So isn't that called Silver Slipper? Silver, Silver Spoon. Spoon. Silver Spoon, yeah, yeah, right. Silver Spoon. Are you doing a little revisionist now, history? So Silver Spoon was the restaurant across the street from where we are now. We're now at Marcos. The Silver and Slipper Italian. was an after hours nightclub. International nightclub. And the Silver Slipper was a nightclub. Yeah, after I was. And Ohio Silver. J Silver Heels. Yeah. I, I love the War Horse. That was a great motion picture. So a lot of people didn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. Well, it's it's like Black Beauty. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was. It, it's been done before, but yeah. uh, when those actors were playing the soldiers, yeah, gave the respect of parting the way for that horse to walk down down through them. Oh, that, that was theater I, for you. As yeah. a fellow soldier, that touched me hard. It's yeah, one yeah. of the few times where Spielberg didn't get a great review. He used to get great reviews. Why not? Did he, he didn't direct that. He yeah. Yes, he did. He, did, did. he directed that? Yeah, he was a director. Yeah. Yeah. Great I heard job. that the play, could, people were really yeah. amazed at the uh, play. No, they, 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 they must have given him too many awards because that was a great direction job. Yeah. You can, you can direct that better. That's that's such a difficult show to direct. Well, David just said what they pointed out, a little sentimental. It was oh, sentimental. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. God, sentimental. You know, what? Cruel war and then uh, what they did to those horses. And I was too sentimental. See, I didn't want to look at it because what I didn't the, want to see animals killed. It's yeah. like at the Writers Guild the other day. I saw a, a, a movie and I must recommend her to my doctor. That lead in that movie is unbelievable. It's a movie called Haywire. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's about a, a female uh, uh, CIA around the cover agent. 
He was very violent. He was a figure. He make, makes Bruce Lee look like a tap dancer, you know, like a ballet dancer doing the menu. She's genius. She killed every very boy. And my doctor, who just lost his wife, unfortunately, and we're trying to get him with another girl. His nurse says he like he doesn't like princesses, you know. He likes well, he likes athletic women. I said I got the girl for him. Yeah, hey, why? I wish right, I know yeah. I need. You got to see that girl, that picture yeah. alone. You have to see for the physical abilities of that actress. It was amazing. You're a matchmaker now. I just I don't dare make a match with a girl like no, that. No, 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 can't do that. She was unbelievable. Well, what's the word of the day? The word of the day is violence. Oh, yeah, violence. So, violence. on that word, we'll say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, Don. Goodbye, Harry. Violence. Goodbye, David.